uh, in today's session we are going to be covering the support management as discussed yesterday so uh, let's let's take a, a quick business case here let's say in our order to cash process we sold something uh, to a customer we fulfilled it we got the payment and everything but for some reason the customer reverted back and told us that uh, the, the the goods were incorrect or they were uh, they were defected when they received the goods okay so in this case yeah. they can just simply call you via phone or they can uh, send you an email or if you have any yes. other contact us information page that you uh, give to your customers for support they could you reach you out right so once they reach yes. you out there would be a support team that would be looking into all those uh, inquiries and uh, complaints coming from the customer so once a mm -hmm. complaint is received you can use the netsuite support management tool to create that case or ticket you can call anything in netsuite it could be a ticketing system and uh, you can create a case so let's see let's see yeah. how to do that like you know this is this is a very fairly straightforward process but again it's it's very important to know how to do that in netsuite so let's say there was a phone call from a customer uh, and they told us that there were incorrect goods shipped to them what the support rep would be doing is they will go in list and then you have support and they have cases so here this yes. is the navigation to to track cases and if i go and click on cases uh, i'll be able to see a lot of cases created in my um, in my next week instance there are around 74 cases so these are the the historical ones where you can see all the data of your cases by case number subject priority status and you know a lot of more details and let's say if you need to create a new case you can simply click on a new case button over here uh so good yeah yeah okay, sure Rod. yeah yeah fine uh, I'm, I'm i'm just taking a pause because the form is loading up so okay so this is basically uh the form the case form i'm going to select standard case form here and you will notice that this is this is the page or this is the form that uh, the support rep would be filling so once they receive a phone call or an email using that information they will create a case record or a ticket record in netsuite okay so let's say uh, it was around about an incorrect goods being shipped to the customer so they can enter the subject incorrect goods shipped and you can you can enter any any subject that uh, works for you uh, for your internal reporting and internal tracking and then you have the company so here you will select the customer that has raised this case okay so whoever the customer was who called you you will enter the company information of that customer so let's say it was brandy And then automatically the email address of that particular company would pull up from the customer record. All right, and this is the email address that you can use for all your email communications with this customer. And uh, you can also enter the capture the phone number from which you receive the phone call. Uh, you can enter any quick notes that you want to capture for this particular case record. Uh, so you know all all regular stuff. Again, uh, anything that is marked as med, uh, uh, hysteric is going to be mandatory. But rest of the stuff is all uh, non-mandatory, and you can just sim simply click, uh, you know, keep it blank. Now here you can also capture the incident uh, date and time. So this is the time when you received the call, and this is the date where you, uh, when you uh, got that call from the customer. Uh, if the customer is providing you any uh, item information, the item that was correctly in shipped, you can provide that information here. Maybe we sold them Merlin phone, and you know, this is this is the item that was incorrectly shipped. Now, there are some uh, some non-mandatory fields and uh, some custom fields, so I'll just quickly skip them. But there are certain fields that you can classify on a case record. So type, you know, one of them is a type. So uh, the query coming from the customer is this a question, concern, a problem, inquiry? What is the type of this case that you are trying to create, right? So you can select the type here, whether it's a critical uh, type of case or a concerning type of case or a problem. So since we have shipped incorrect goods, this is definitely a problem, and I'm going to mark this as a problem case. Now later, what you can do is, based on the NetSuite reporting, you can filter all your uh, cases by type. So let's say if you want to see in a given month how many cases were raised for a, for problem types, 
because you know problem is something that is uh, going to overall impact your uh, uh, company reputation so you might be interested in only looking into the problem types uh, and uh, focusing on all those cases and uh, then you can just uh, simply shift your attention to another case maybe questions or inquiries or tasks or something like that so this is just a classification of your case uh, while you are entering the case record okay is, is this making sense Yes, uh, Shogat. All right, all right. And then you can also enter the case issue. Whether this is a product related issue, this is a product question, is this a billing related question, uh, or you know, a short shipment or a late delivery. So all that information is also something that you can capture uh, here. And again, based on this, uh, you can uh, get all your reports uh, down the line. So let's say this was a uh, product issue i mean the product was incorrectly shipped so i'm going to mark this as a product issue now later your management can see all the cases ra raised with product issue and perhaps they could then uh, look into the root cause why are we having so many product issues right to our customers and they can then identify whether it's a problem with our shipment whether it's a problem with our supply chain and whatever so it's all important uh, these classifications that later can help you analyze all your uh, situation with your existing business operations all right and then you can also capture okay. the origin so whether this case was ra was raised via email via phone call or uh, on any of your social media pages so again this would also give you an idea how your customers are uh, interacting with you and you can actually target your attention to that particular platform so let's say if you're uh, receiving your cases via Facebook uh, in a given period of time, you, you see that the ratio of uh, cases coming from Facebook is a lot. You can you can invest more on Facebook because that's where your uh, your customer base is, is interacting with you, right? So based yes. on all these uh, information, you can, you can make uh, some decent uh, decisions uh, that could be really helpful for your overall business. So again, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to set the origin. Let's say I, I got it by a phone call. So I'm going to set this to phone call. So I have captured Mac, um, most of my information and here I can set the priority. So the person entering the in, uh, information can also set the priority. So if it's a medium case, high priority case, low priority case, now this is based on the judgment and the type of case being generated. So let's say if it's just a question, it might perhaps uh, be a low, low priority case for you. But if it's something related to an incorrect goods shipped to a customer, definitely this is a, a medium to high priority case. And you might want to resolve these cases uh, as as soon as possible, right? So you can set your yes. priority on the cases, and then based on the priority, you can uh, target those cases and uh, resolve them. And based on so on the priority, you can also assign the relevant support rep. So let's say if you have multiple support uh, representatives in your organization, and there is uh, basically a group of uh, uh, support reps who are assigned to only deal with the high priority cases. So in this case, you know, you can uh, assign a priority and automatically the relevant support wrap would be assigned to the case as well. So again, you know, um, some some really uh, important information on the case record. Okay. So I'm going to select this as low uh, as a medium priority case for now. And now what you can also do is assign to. So right now automatically it did not pull up any uh, support wrap as my assigned to, but I will quickly show you how to do that as well in a couple of moments. Uh, but here I can also assign this case to a particular support wrap. So let's say this case will be dealt by uh, Sam Smith and this is my internal employee who is going to work on this particular case and make sure it is resolved. So I can assign my contact person, my internal contact person to this particular case. Okay. So assigning the sense like uh, it is the escalation, uh, escalation process? Uh, not really escalation. Uh, this is basically the support wrap that will work on this case. So if you have ever, okay. uh, you know, seen a ticketing system, there is always a person assigned to a, a particular ticket or a case who, who is the person responsible uh, to close it, right? So this is uh, Sam yeah. Smith's responsibility to, to, to close this case after discussing with, with the customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Sam Smith is my internal support representative who will then call to this particular, uh, you know, company brandy number and uh, we'll, we'll try to close this case uh, in NetSuite and physically as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. 
and here you can enter the complete message so incoming message from customer so when you receive the phone call definitely the customer would have given you a message or conveyed a message uh, and the problem right so here you can say that uh, customer has received incorrect goods for order one two three four five whatever okay so this is the message that you can enter and based on this message the support rep sam smith would then be communicating with the customer and trying to resolve this case all right so once we have done this uh, we'll simply save this record so this case is now going to be saved and now it will be the responsibility of sam smith because once sam smith logins uh, logs in with netsuite he will be able to see this case on his dashboard because uh, he is assigned to this case so sam smith would then come up on this case again and would start working so let's say this case uh, 296 has been generated. Uh, Sam Smith will receive an email. Uh, again, this is a sandbox and training instance, so we don't have emails configured from here. But uh, in, an, in, a, in, a, in a production environment, when a support wrap is assigned on a case, they will automatically get an email that you have been assigned on this case and you need to start working on this case. So, so now uh, it means they will uh, they will get notification through the uh, email address. So in the, uh, right. the, the, the in the real time scenarios. Exactly, exactly. And uh, what they can also do is uh, they can also have their reminder set here. So let me see if there is a reminder where we can see those cases. So this is to respond. So there is this reminder already available. Uh, I'll just save this and show you. So in here, uh, I can see one case to respond if I click on this. Yes. So it's a, it's actually another case 231 that was assigned on my user. But if I was Sam Smith logging in with NetSuite, I would be able to see all my cases here in this reminders uh, where I needed okay. to respond to a particular case. So just to give you an idea that, you know, uh, the support wrap would have all the visibility on their screens uh, once they are assigned on a case. On their dashboard, so it will appear. Right. On their dashboards as well and on their emails as well. So both ways so, just to make sure nothing is missed so here we need to uh, update their communication email id the system to uh, not to not for notification is it exactly so you know when you log in with netsuite you have to give an email address so that's your user email address and on that email address you will receive your uh, case uh, uh, in information okay 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 Great. all right Awesome. So now next step would be uh, if I quickly go back on the case record, let's assume I'm Sam Smith. I will come back on this case record. I will see all mm -hmm. the information that was entered by the by the customer support team. And I will see that there was a message here that customer has received incorrect goods for order one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is the email address of the customer. This is not started yet. The status is not started because Sam Smith has not started working on this case. Right. He's right now just uh, mm -hmm. reviewing all the details. Uh, he's looking into everything, the incident, the items, and once uh, the initial analysis ha is completed, he would then edit this case. So I'm going to select again my so, uh, standard support uh, form, standard case form. And here, now first thing that Sam Smith is going to do is uh, change the status to in progress. Because now Sam Smith has actually started looking into this case, right? So I'm going to first change the status to in progress. And then you have this option called outgoing from support wrap option here. You see this? This was incoming message from the customer and this is outgoing from support wrap. So now I myself as Sam Smith would write an email here. Hi, this is Sam and we'll look into your case. So I'm going to type any any detailed email, email that I need to send to the customer. And here there is this option called send to customer. So once you click on this and uh, the email address that is mentioned here, and once you save this, automatically an e email from NetSuite would be generated and uh, will be sent to the customer. So now you see yes. all the email communication is, is being maintained on my case record in my interaction tab. So now uh, yes. there will be a to and fro communication between the support wrap and the customer. The customer is going to provide you more details. Uh, the support wrap will actually validate the case and whatever the next line of action would be, he would be processing that. So let's say if this was yes. incorrect goods, he's, he's going to uh, intimate it to the, uh, the, 
the warehouse team or the sales team and will ask them to uh, send new goods or whatever you know the, uh, a refund will be processed or whatever the the processes of the organization are so there there will be to and fro communication and the best part is that netsuite is going to capture all that history so now when customer responds to his email automatically that email will also be part of this uh, chain here in the interaction tab so everything is available yeah. so now as a support manager or as as a person from management if i need to see a particular case and see how the support rep was communicating and if i need to evaluate his overall activities and performance i can simply go on my case record and see all the email communications so you know i i don't really need to go into his inbox or copy myself in all the emails just using this email interaction tab i can see the communication between the customer and my support rep okay yes so so this is this is all you know native uh, options that you get around the case management now what will happen is that uh, based on the communication with the customer finally the end would be that this state uh, the status of this case would uh, finally go on close so if this issue is totally resolved if the customer acknowledges it uh, the support rep is finally going to close this case and uh, i can simply mm -hmm. mark the status as closed and here uh, i can also you know provide you my close reason so there are multiple reasons that you can also enter uh, let's say 100% answered uh, or any any relevant information and again these lists are all configurable so at any point in time you can add new things here uh, or uh, subtract any of the list value that you see here so let's say this this case was 100% answered and i'm going to mark this as closed and finally save this so now this case would be closed all right because i have set the status to closed and when i review all my standard reports uh, within netsuite i will be able to see that uh, this this case was uh, closed on this particular date and time so so okay. that would be the overall you know crm process from post sales uh, support management perspective uh, where a case would be generated a case would be assigned to a sales rep the sales rep or a support rep sorry the support rep would uh, would start working on the case would do to and fro communication and finally once the case has been resolved he would be setting the status as closed so that would yes. typically cover an overall uh, you know end to end uh, case management process but however in a perfect that would be in a perfect world right but there are instances when the customer would again come back that no my case was not uh, 100% resolved and you need to uh, you know look into this again so if that's the case he would again come in ed edit this one and perhaps again you know set the status to let's say in progress or reopened and start working on that case again so now he can again reopen the status and save it and the and again you know the same activity and same uh, operations would start happening against the, this particular case record 